Okay, folks, welcome to the Week Ahead Commentary. This is Bob Desmond, and we are going to talk about the stocks that we like going into the new trading week. Those stocks are OPTT. I've done a couple of videos on this one, posted on YouTube. I'll probably link to it in this um, video description as well. Uh, Boeing is another one, CNSL, AYX. And we're going to talk about GameStop as well. GameStop to me is a stock that uh, really, really looks toppy here. We did trade it last week. We traded it to the short side. We booked a 19.58% profit using put options. We also booked profits on a sale of BlackBerry puts last week. We'll talk about that a bit as well. But before we go to best stock charts for the new trading week, Let's talk about our sponsor, which is TrendSpider. TrendSpider is the next generation in automated technical analysis. If you don't have it, you're trading with one arm time tied behind your back. It's not a wise move to make. You need to automate your grunt work, speed up your analysis. And when you speed up your analysis, you must be able to improve your accuracy at the same time. TrendSpider fits that bill. It helps you reduce costly analytical mistakes. It also helps you find really good winning chart setups. I found a bunch of them. And their algorithms and alerts allow you to time your trades with precision. So take advantage of their seven-day free trial offer. Using the link below, you get 35% off. They have a demo and a tour. And you can check out all the functionality. It's too much to go over on this commentary. So check it out for yourself. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. And we'll get it answered for you. And of course, I believe in it so much. It's included with our silver and gold level memberships here. So sign up, 14-day free trial offer with us, real-time trade alerts, daily in-depth video analysis, trading education, one-to-one -one engagement, and you'll learn how to generate income using options, yearly discounts, or you can subscribe monthly. And you get daily analysis of where I believe the stock market is going. And of course, on Saturdays, we send out the week ahead commentary where we analyze the closing price action of the prior week. And we decide which way are we going to trade this coming week. And of course, we have a really cool Slack forum. Here's my meme of the week. Awesome. Let's get to it. Okay, so GameStop, let's go to a daily chart first. We went short of here on the 27th. It bolted up higher in the pre-market on the 28th, and we doubled up in our position on strength as we began to see the shares peter out, putting in a lower high intraday, and then they just collapsed. Then ultimately on Friday, of course, everyone knows they rallied back. We booked profits quickly on this. When you're dealing with stocks that are under the microscope of the government, the SEC, you know what? First out, best out. You have a profit. Make it real. Move to the sidelines and let everyone else sort it out. Way too much emotion involved here. Irrational exuberance at its finest. Now, I still think that GameStop is a short. Why? Well, you're seeing a lot of topping action on a daily chart. RSI has come off. This was at 98. Now it's down to what? 75. Not too bad. But when you pull back to a weekly chart, we are trading above the third standard deviation Bollinger Band. We're not supposed to be there. And we still have RSI on a weekly basis at 98.5. That's insanity. So, folks, those of you that are still long, this is not going to end well. I'm not saying they won't pump it up once again, but I'm telling you, I've pretty much nailed what these guys would do. They would move heaven and earth to undermine the small investor. Robin Hood came out and just took the legs out from underneath their own customers. So believe me, these guys are positioning to get their money back. These are not dumb people. They are nefarious and they are ruthless. And they have the resources that you can only dream of. Book your profits and make them real. BlackBerry. Now, BlackBerry is kind of a different story in a way. 
it came off the highs of the week. I could see BlackBerry pulling back to 12.05 per share. If it holds that support level, I could see, I wouldn't buy the shares. I could see uh, perhaps selling a put deep out of the money. You get paid really nice premiums. On Friday, when we were about $16 per share, the 14 strike puts were selling for 45 cents expiring that day expiring friday and we booked a profit on that trade so blackberry looking good we may get a pullback first here to 1205 per share then we should pop up higher optt again i've done multiple videos on optt in the past both times i've warned of a short-term pullback although i'm longer term bullish so during the the last video Again, I'll, I'll link to it below in the video description area. I said I like the shares at 3 spot 83. That's where our alert is. This is going to fire off next week. This is a pretty bearish candlestick. I'm not going to be the least bit surprised to get an overshoot down to 3 spot 51. And it's at that point where I would look to enter the position. We'll keep it active for five days. And this will alert us letting us know that our support levels have been hit. It's time to start watching OPTT and perhaps get long. Now, I did warn members on the week ahead commentary, I am worried about this market. I warned about it Thursday night on Thursday night, Stock Charts Live, where we reviewed the weekly charts. And sure enough, on Friday, the market simply tanked. I don't think that it's over yet. And tomorrow night on Sunday Night Futures Live, on YouTube, we'll be going over the monthly charts to see how we close out the month. So if you'd like to join us tomorrow night, Sunday night, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, there's a link below. Enter your email address. You will not be spammed. Get alerted 15 minutes to a half hour prior to us going live. Or simply click the bell button and subscribe button on YouTube. And I hope to see you there. So OPTT week getting weaker. However, it's becoming more and more interesting. So let's show some discipline and wait for our alerts to fire off. There's no need to watch your computer. Let TrendSpider do the work for you. You'll get an alert either from me when I enter or if you're on TrendSpider, when your alert fires off. Boeing. Boeing is nearing critical support at the 190 mark. I already have an alert set here. So I warned last week when i was asked during one of our live streams is it time to buy boeing i said no i thought that this was a dead cat bounce off of a larger sell-off and sure enough we fell apart i'm looking for 190 per share if it fails to hold avoid it it's going lower but i suspect that it'll bounce it caught an upgrade on friday and it didn't help a, a lick out of Morgan Stanley. CNSL, Consolidated Communications. Interesting chart here in that we broke out last week. And it was during a market sell-off. So what I want to see here is either a continuation breakout or a pullback and a retest of support. Let's make this lower. Keep a little bit of sensitivity there. There you go. And we're good. Our alert is set. Set it and forget it. Daily chart. Now, the daily chart is showing that we have a bit of resistance above right here. So I want to know, just in case we don't get the pullback that we're looking for, I want to know if we break out and above that resistance level. So our alert is set for CNSL, AYX, weekly chart. We can't buy this yet. The however is, is that should we break out, we want to get along. So no rush here. Let's wait for the breakout. Let the stock prove that it's worthy enough for our investment dollar by being able to break out, especially in a weak market. Folks, thanks for joining in. Remember, TrendSpider 7-day free trial offer. Use that link below, 35% off. If you'd like to join, become a member of the Contrarian Trader, please join up. 14-day free trial offer, real-time trade alerts, daily in-depth analysis. You can have a one-to-one -one coaching session with me. 
I don't know why this is popping up like this, but I can assure you, I know why. The SSL certificate is not up. Okay, I can assure you this is a safe page. One of my people dropped the ball. And folks, join us tomorrow night, Sunday Night Futures Live, and I'll see you there. Be well.